In the eighth year of the Keio era, Japan neared the end of its feudal period. The shogunate, facing an uprising by the anti-government movement, asked France for military help in order to suppress the rebellion. As the French were unwilling to assist, the government turned to the American delegation that was visiting Japan at the time to negotiate the Japan-U.S. peace treaty. You see, America was known as the country which had established a unique scientific technology by combining its native Indian shamanism with alchemy from Europe. It was the utilization of this science which had allowed an infant nation to grow into a military giant within only one century. The American delegation's military entourage, with its 20-gun mechanized unit, was powerful enough to defeat three major armies of the anti-government forces in less than two weeks. As a result of this military intervention, as well as the peace treaty with America, forced upon the shogunate by these circumstances, Japan moved ever closer to becoming America's protectorate. Unrelated to these historical proceedings, deep in a mountain north of the capital city lived the descendants of the ancient gods, protecting their ancestors' secret treasure. Down through the ages, their numbers had dwindled. Now there remained only an old couple and their granddaughter, Rami. They alone kept watch over the treasure of the ancient gods. wooden ship appeared suddenly from the sky and attacked. the key to the secret treasure. Good work. At last, this key is mine. And I wasn't there to stop them. I hate this. Hyper cutie bunny chase! Huh? Rami, where have you been? Mm, well, I got hungry. So I went to the mini mart to get something to eat. First I thought I wanted a burger, but then... You were supposed to be guarding the key! You <coughs> save it in front of our ancestors! Shame! Shame! Shame on you! <coughs> Fasten your seat belts, because we are flying a dragon right into the weird part of Japan. Welcome to Let's Play K.O. Flying Squadron for the Sega CD, one of few games of this form to actually see a Western release, and I'm really grateful because even like the voice acting doesn't take itself seriously, and that's pretty fantastic. I'm gonna let the demo play here just so I can show you um, a little bit of the gameplay mechanicery. You fly a dragon, if you don't shoot for a second, more dragons appear. It's a side-scrolling shooter, if you hadn't guessed. Um, there's also two different kind of power-ups you can get, a shot power-up like that one, or a support type power up, um, of which they got the bird that flies out and homes in on things, and that's pretty alright. That's about it. That's all you need to know. KO Flying Squadron. Yeah! Um, the demo's gonna go until she dies, which should probably be soon, I assume. I just don't wanna mess up what's gonna come after the demo. We're uh, getting a bit of a glimpse into the first stage, so we're going to see this more in a second. Here we go. Get a quick bio on the main character, Rami, who BS is not 20 years old. Um, of note, in the Japanese version of this, it doesn't even list a, an age, so I'm willing to bet that's something we did. In the Japanese one, she's probably like 10. And Spot is the other change that I've noted. Um, in the Japanese version, his name was not Spot. His name, and I think it was a dude in the Japanese one, was, um, Pochi. Poochie, Pochi, something like that. 
That's, like, to the best of my knowledge, the only changes that were done. Like, that's it. The horse's name is, uh, Spot instead of Pochi, and, um, we have an age that's way higher than it has any right to be. <coughs> I'm still sick, if you hadn't guessed. Well, I'm not really sick, but I'm getting better. But I have to record something, so here we are. Um... I'm going to take a quick look at the options. Um, I like that they show you the hitbox. And that you can change it. Like, that's kind of cool. Bottons. The batons. Um, speed, I'm actually going to change slow down to one. I'll keep fast on three. I will give myself as many lives as physically possible. I will be using save states. Because me and shooters do not get along. I don't know what visuals is. I'm going to keep the difficulty on medium simply because I think it'll be better at showing you the, a proper view of the game. Personally, I'd play it on easy. But uh, start that crap up. And what were you doing while they were stealing the key from us? You went to get a snack, you fool. <laughs> You don't have to get so upset about a dinky key. You don't understand anything. It was Dr. Poon who stole it from us. A super intelligent raccoon. His IQ is 1,400. Can you even guess how important that key is? Well, what is the key for? It's for the secret treasure. Then what is the secret treasure, Grandma? Don't ask so many questions. The only thing I remember is uh, it's called Ark. Ark? I wonder what it is. Dr. Poon wants to use the Ark to turn this planet into a raccoon world. Hey, why not? Sounds like fun. What a fool you are. It was totally your fault. You know that. You really should... I guess you'll never learn. Well, listen, Rami. Until you get that key back, you will get no food. That's right. No key, no dinner. You'd better hurry and chase them down. I hate this. Hey, Spot, we gotta go. Spot, are you still sleeping? Wake up! That poor dragon thing. Now, as long as I'm not shooting, I will get my little dude. So now I got two of them. I think that's kind of neat. All you have to do is like not shoot, and you can get them. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me that. No, I want the, I want the things. Give me that. Oh, this is not gonna end well for anybody. You know what? I'm actually gonna take the spread shot, and I'm gonna save. Stay. I'm actually gonna take the spread shot because I think early on having the spread shot is probably gonna do me more good than not. Well, normal is actually a lot harder than easy. Who'd have thought? Um, you can change your speed. Which is kind of like a focus mode in, say, a bullet curtain game, which I think is kind of neat that they even let you do it all. Like, I'm moving fast now, but I can hit the speed toggle button as soon as I'm trying not to die. I move slow, and now I move, like, stu stuper slow. Ah! Try that again. No, come back! This is surprisingly not... This is surprisingly not easy. No, just blow up! Yes! I got it! Man, stage one is a crap ton harder on normal than it is on easy. I was just expecting maybe some more bullets on screen or something. I really should have waited for the... I really should have waited for the multi-shot. Ah! Okay, I know this guy shoots at you eventually, so I'm just going to kind of chill here. And keep shooting at him. I'm of note, you can only have so many shots on the screen at a time. So if you actually get closer to him, you will be able to shoot him more. Thankfully, down here, he's just kind of dumb and never shoots at me, so I'm fine with that. Oh, and then missiles, so... Blow up! No! Man. Yeah, game notably harder on, uh... Nah, uh, gimme, gimme that.
It'd be... I... What the crap? I know your, um, shots do get stronger the more of that power-up you collect. Jeez, man. So many guys. <clears throat> if you get overwhelmed, you also do have a bomb, which will use up your little dudes. So that's kind of a neat thing to have and be able to do. Gimme, 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 gimme. No. Gimme that one, yes. I think that one powers up two times. Can I squeeze a shot in there? Okay, if I'm lucky, my little dudes will kill that, yes. The little dudes do follow you around, much like, um, say, a Gradius option. Oh, at least that thing... That was kind of it. It didn't kill me. Um, when you die, by the way, if you ever see power-ups appear at the side of the screen as soon as I die, whenever you die... It was dumb of me, but it worked out somehow. Whenever you die, you do get a couple, um, pity power-ups, I guess. I could really use some more power-ups, though. I'd, I'd much like a shot. I actually have, um, I think you can only power up the bird thing twice. So, I'm really happy with the bird thing as it is. I could use more shots. Because I think I've just been toggling back and forth between level 1 single shot and level 1 multi-shot. And it'd be peachy keen if I could get a level 2 multi-shot. There's still a little bit of Japanese in the game, notably from uh, little things like that. Also, there's a uh, guy here. I don't think I'm going to be getting any, any shots. Also, there's a monkey that's shooting bananas at me, and he is cramping my style. Can I just take out that monkey? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, the main boss is actually the dude that's walking back and forth on the front thing right there. If I had a level 2 multi-shot, one of my shots goes forward. Like, right now I'm actually a little peeved because my multi-shot is aiming up and down and not forward, so I have to rely on my little dudes. If I were better at these games... I could probably get my two little dudes to shoot him, whereas I, like, moved up a little bit to get my multi-shot to hit him as well, and then we'd, like, all be hitting him, and that'd be super cool. But, uh, I'm not good at these games, so instead I'm just gonna do that.